Hey guys, this is Trevor from Gadget Apps. I'm going to show you how to install the skin and screen protector cutout for the Amazfit VIP. So um, if you've installed any of our other products, any of our other skins, this installation is very similar. Uh, this is very much like the Pebble 2 Inner Skin, the Pebble Time Skin, the Fitbit Versa Skin. It's very much the same installation method. So this is the actual skin. The bottom of the skin is wider than the top. So this is like the original Pebble. There's only one way that this can go. If you install it and say that it cuts off the screen, it means that you did it upside down. So make sure that the bottom is thicker than the top. If you have it like this, you have it upside down. This is how it should go. Do not mess this up. So this is the actual skin. There's a transfer film on the back that you peel off. Peel off the transfer film like that. Let's zoom in. So now what you're going to do is you're going to turn the transfer film sideways. So it's going like this. You're going to expose the top edge of the skin. You're going to lay it sideways like this. But the top edge is exposed. The point of that is when you put it down in the glass that it will um, grip and you won't peel it off. So once that's done like that, you're going to rub your finger on it, make sure the transfer film sticks to it. Before we peel that off, let's make sure that the screen of our Amazfit is clean of any gunk, any residue. You want to make sure that the, um, the backlight, I guess I should have done that before, but the backlight is the brightest that it's going to be because you're going to need the backlight in order to see through the transfer films so that you can install this straight. All right, so now once that's done, let's clean it again. Thicker side on the bottom. You're going to push with your fingers and you're going to peel this skin off with the transfer film. Okay, so this is how we're going to be installing it. We're going to be holding it like this. I'm going to turn on your watch so you can see the backlight. Make sure there's nothing on there, no dust or anything. And we're going to be using the backlight to make sure that we center this thing. So you're going to be continually pressing the backlight so that you can actually see. And this is a lot harder for me since I'm doing this on camera. But you're going to be hovering. Basically, I'm, I'm using my hands. I'm on my knuckles. I'm resting them on the table and using it to kind of hover above this watch so you don't drop it down when you're not straight. Okay, that looks pretty good. Once that you have put it down, you're going to rub with your finger on these edges. Make sure that the skin is adhering to the glass. And this top edge, you're really going to rub down because this is the thing that's gripping the skin to your watch. If you've messed this up, just send us an email. I'll explain more about the at the end, but if you're just like, oh my god, I just did a horrible job. It's already screwed up. Then don't worry about it. We'll sort you out. So now very, very slowly, we're going to peel away this transfer film. If you see it peeling away the skin, put it back down and rub it some more. Alrighty. So once that's done, you're going to take your fingers and you're going to go all around the edge and really adhere it down. This is what's going to make it so that your skin doesn't come off your watch. All right, that is on there. So if you don't want to install the screen protector, you don't have to. Um, but if you do want to, what you're going to need is a spray bottle filled with water and one drop of dish soap. It helps the screen protector um, slide around on the surface of your watch. The cutout screen protector that we include with the Amazfit, it's a two-pack, and it only goes one way. It's a square, but it's not a perfect square, so that it has to go vertically. Don't turn it sideways like this. So clean off your screen again. Take a spray bottle, spray your hands, zoom out a little bit. Spray the surface of the watch. Spray your hands again. 
spray the screen protector and peel it off. Spray it again. And we're going to slowly just put it in the cutout area that we made with the skin. So it should move just like a little tiny bit. If you had it reversed, if you had it the wrong way, it wouldn't fit and you would notice there'd be a bubble. So if there's no bubbles and you've installed it correctly. So now once that's done, you can take like the backing from the screen protector and use it to squeegee out the water that's underneath the screen protector. This is the most important part because this is where you'll get the majority of the water out. If there's any bubbles or anything, it'll go away um, within 48 hours. I wouldn't uh, sleep with this yet. I wouldn't go swimming with this yet. You can wear it, but you have to be real careful until this is 100% bonded. And it's gonna look weird for the first 48 hours, the first day or so, but once it hits 48 hours, that is the absolute best it's gonna look. If you don't like how it looks, then either install it incorrectly or I don't know what, but after 48 hours, that is the best it's going to look. So if you're not happy, please go on gadgetapps.com slash contact, go to our website, click the contact page and send us an email. If you screwed up the install, we'll send you a free one. It's not a big deal. Um, we really appreciate it that if you contact us first um, without going on Reddit or someplace else saying that, hey, I got the Gadrafts product and I hate it, it sucks, I messed up the install and I just wasted $10, send us an email. We will take care of you. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, any questions, comments, concerns, constructive criticism, anything, www.gadrafts.com slash contact. Uh, that was the install video for the Amazfit VIP skin and screen protector. If you have the full clear screen protector, there's another video that's linked on our website and on YouTube. So that is the video for you. But thanks for watching. Bye.